Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Monday afternoon now and after a weekend of relaxing and lounging around the house, it is high time for some cleaning. So I thought I would do a little bit of a spring cleaning video. This front room isn't super, super bad, but there are definitely some rogue shoes and things like that. Um, but our kitchen really needs some work. We need to do some laundry, there's just some things that need to be done, some spring cleaning. So I thought I would take you guys along for some of my spring cleaning today and film it. I know that some of you enjoy cleaning videos like this. I also might pop in a, after I clean the kitchen, a little cooking segment. I'm not sure where I'm gonna start. I usually bounce around a lot when I'm cleaning. Pretty much every room in our house could use some cleaning, but the two areas that, that come to mind first that really need work are our kitchen and our bedroom. Um, so I think that's where I'm gonna start in one of those two areas. So come along as I do a little bit of spring cleaning on this beautiful day. It's 70 degrees and breezy, the birds are singing. Mm, perfect day to clean, so let's get it going. Well, surprise, I decided to start in the den instead of in the kitchen or in the bedroom because the den was a pretty quick and easy tidy up. It just needed to be reset, basically. So I'm putting Charlie's toys back into his toy bin, folding blankets, getting pillows back on the couch, and then of course I'm using my Caldrea Tangelo Palm Frond countertop spray, which I'm obsessed with and have been for a long time. I get mine from Grove, but you could look into getting it from somewhere else and I'm using it to wipe down the tray that we keep on our ottoman and spraying a little bit of it onto my microfiber cloth which I also get from Grove and using that to wipe down and dust a few other parts of the room. This video is not sponsored but I do purchase all of my cleaning products from Grove so that's why they are all from Grove. This is the Tangelo Palm Frond Linen and Room Spray. It smells amazing and I love using it once I've reset a room just a few little sprays over the fabrics. It smells so fresh. I absolutely love it. <laughs> My husband loves it too. I catch him using it all the time. Now I'm moving on to the beast of the kitchen. I hate dishes. I really hate doing dishes so much. Usually Riley does the dishes after dinner and he resets the kitchen for us in the evening so that when we wake up in the morning, it's nice and tidy. But this was a Monday and a lot of times that doesn't happen on Sunday nights because we are relaxing and hanging out and no one really feels like doing dishes and so this happens a lot, so that's okay. He does it most other nights of the week. So I am getting all the dishes unloaded out of the dishwasher and then reloaded. And there were just so many and they're, ugh, I just really, definitely my least favorite chore. Cleaning bathrooms, like scrubbing down the showers specifically or bathtubs because I just think it's such a pain and doing dishes. Two least favorite home chores. What are your least favorite home chores? Anyway, finishing this up, getting these dishes put away, and then grabbing my seventh generation dishwasher detergent gel, get that from Grove too, and it's going in our nasty, you know, the inside of the dishwasher always looks all gross before you run it because the splatters of food and whatnot have gotten in there. And I'm just setting this to a normal rinse. Our dishwasher really needs to be wiped down too, I'm noticing here as I'm editing this footage, and getting that running. Next, now that our sink is clean, I'm just doing a quick scrub of the sink. I'm just using dish soap here. Sometimes I'll use more of a scrub and um, Mrs. Myers makes a lemon verbena scrub that I really like to use inside the sink. But on this particular day, I was just using some dish soap and just giving it a quick rinse just to get any grime or whatever off the sides of the sink and just, you know, resetting it a little bit. Now this is one of my favorite things to do. These are new um, to me. These are from Grove too. These are these garbage disposal freshener and cleaner pods and this scent is thyme and fig leaf and it smells so good. Here's how you do it. You basically turn the water on, you throw the little pot into the disposal, you let the water keep running and then you run the disposal for like 10 seconds and it freshens up the sink and the disposal so much. And these are natural little pods. They don't have any weird ingredients in them. So I love them. And this thyme and fig leaf, oh my gosh, it smells so, so, so good. So here I am just running the disposal and getting that going. Mm. It makes a big difference. It really makes a big difference in that kind of gunky disposal spell. I used to use like a chunk of lemon and sometimes I still do that, but I heard that's not great for your garbage disposal. So I feel a little bit better using those since that's what they're specifically for, but they do work really, really well. 
Now moving on to my countertops and just getting a few little crusty spots off the countertops using my Tangelo Palm Frond. And then I'm moving on to using my Method Heavy Duty Degreaser, which I love using specifically on our stovetop just day to day. And so I'm using the Tangelo Palm Front, the countertop spray there on the countertop, and then the heavy duty decreaser there on the stovetop. It just really does a good job of getting all the junk off. Now you knew this part was coming. Of course I have to use my Angry Mama and I'm trying to get a before shot, but it is hard to get a before shot inside like a reflective white microwave. So it looks cleaner than it is here. Although I will say this is definitely not the worst that our microwave has been. This is actually a pretty clean day for our microwave. Um, as far as, you know, a day when I'm using that Angry Mama. The Angry Mama is like a little, she looks like a little Angry Mama. You can get her off Amazon. I will leave a link below. And she steam cleans the microwave. So you fill her with half vinegar and half water and you put her in the microwave for five minutes and she steam cleans it. And I love it. I've talked about it in lots of other videos and other cleaning videos. So that's that. So I'm just here cleaning other parts of our countertop with that countertop spray. I think it does such a nice, nice job of shining up our countertops and it leaves a nice scent, but it doesn't, it's not overpowering at all. I had run out, <laughs> so I always have a backup, always have a backup. And so I'm just unwrapping my little backup and getting that going as well. If I could buy this in giant gallons, I would. I think someone commented that you can, but I don't remember seeing that on Grove. So I'll have to, I'll have to look for that because I would totally go for it. We both love it and use it all the time. <laughs> this is like a hilarious portrait of Tangela Palm Frond. I wanted to show you what I was listening to while I was cleaning. This is the YouTube channel Leg Life and this is a lovely couple who lives in Alaska, travels all over and loves Disney. And they recently went on a Disney cruise so I was really enjoying listening to them talk about their next Disney cruise and their past Disney cruise and recaps and I just love anything Disney, Disney cruise, Disney world. I'd love it. So that was fun and I'm just kind of giving this top part of our counter a good scrub down. Now that our kitchen's just about clean, I love throwing some citrus fresh or lemon or orange or peppermint or thieves into my diffuser. I use Young Living oils and a Young Living diffuser. I do not sell either of those things, but I have been like a member for a while and so I can place an order when I want to. I love the citrus fresh. It's exactly how it sounds and it just smells really nice in the kitchen and leaves such a nice light fresh scent especially for spring and so you can see here's the nice diffuser going off and um this little art i actually made with my cousin several years ago and each heart is a little map and it is where we met where we got engaged where we got married and i don't remember what the other one is where, what would the other one be maybe our first house or something i don't really remember i'll have to go look it's been years Anyway, pulling out the Angry Mama, you want to be careful because sometimes the steam, obviously steam is very, very hot, and so sometimes she's hotter than you would expect, but her little arms are usually pretty cool. And then because it's all been steamed, it's really, really easy. Sometimes I can just get away with just wiping down the glass turntable, but on this particular day, there was still some crusted on food. And so I was able to wipe clean the rest of the microwave, but I did need to go ahead and scrub down the um, turntable in the sink which is totally fine. It takes like three minutes. Well, it takes like 30 seconds. So I went ahead and did that and then replaced that back into the microwave. Now I have a clean kitchen and a clean microwave and I am on to making dinner. I finished cleaning up the kitchen and so now I am making some dinner. This is originally called Mediterranean Orzo Salad. It's a Pioneer Woman recipe. I will link it below. It's a public recipe. Um, but And I've made it with the Orzo before, but this time I'm swapping in couscous instead of Orzo just because I like the texture of couscous a lot and um, I think it would go really well in a salad like this. My mom used to make something similar um, when I lived at home and I haven't had it in years. So I'm using couscous for this. So that is cooled. And in it, you make a little kind of dressing. It has garlic, lemon juice, olive oil, some herbs, um, things like that. And then red pepper, cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, red onion, and then some feta cheese. Hers also calls for chickpeas and 
um, olives, but we don't care. Well, Riley likes olives. I forgot to grab him some at the store, to be honest with you. I don't care for olives, and neither of us really like chickpeas, just like chickpeas in a salad. I, we like hummus, but not like that. So we are kind of changing it up. You could totally alter this recipe. I will leave the link below. Now that this is mostly cooled, I'm going to go ahead and put all of the ingredients in here. It is supposed to be a cold dish, so once everything's mixed, I'll show you what it looks like, and then I'll pop it in the fridge for about an hour and then when Riley gets home from work, we can decide what we wanna do as far as grilling and things like that. Here's what it looks like all mixed up. So I have that dressing in there, the cherry tomatoes, the red peppers, the cucumbers, the red onion, obviously the couscous, the feta cheese, yum. Um, and it is pretty much room temperature right now, but it's I think it's really good when it's nice and cold. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on this container Stick it in the fridge, for, like I said, for the next hour, and this will be our dinner tonight. Yum, such a good recipe. Like I said, I'm going to leave it below, and um, I've already noted that I have made some changes. So you guys can make changes if you're going to use this recipe based on your preferences and what you like. But again, it's great with grilled chicken. You could do it with tofu if you're a vegetarian. There's lots of great ways to eat this in the spring and summer, but I love dishes like this so much. Now that part of dinner is chilling in the fridge and the kitchen is completely reset, including dinner, I always love lighting a candle because I don't like doing dishes. So lighting a candle is like my little version of, hooray, I'm done with the kitchen, at least for now. So now I'm heading into our bedroom and um, during this time of year and throughout the winter, both of us sleep with different blankets on our sides of the bed, just depending on, you know, the evening, how chilly it is, how warm it is. And so I'm just folding those up and setting those aside. I like to give them a good wash, usually about once a week, once every 10 days, same with our bedding. But today was not a wash day for me, so I was just going ahead and making our bed and getting everything completely reset. I always get a lot of questions about our bed frame. Our bed frame is from Wayfair.com, and usually it is available. Whenever I'm doing a video and I'm talking about it, I'm usually able to link it. So if I can link it, I will link it below. Um, to the bed on Wayfair. If this exact bed is not available, but you search black metal bed frame on Wayfair or other sites, usually you can find something quite similar. We've had it for just about three years. We moved into our home almost exactly three years ago, and I think we bought it within the first six months of living here. So um, maybe two and a half years, and we really, really like it. It's, you know, it's great. I think it, it looks nice. We like it. It was an affordable option, especially with a king sized bed. Those bed frames can get so pricey. So we like it. Our bedding is from Pottery Barn, a mix of Pottery Barn and Target. The sheets are from Target. The um, Euro shams are from Pottery Barn. The comforters from Pottery Barn. And then those shams that I'm touching right now, the white ones are from Target. And then that front pillow we made at my husband's screen printing and embroidery studio. So that is one of a kind. So that's that. That is our bed, all nice and sorted. And now it's time to move on to my vanity. So the funny thing is, is this vanity. Well, it's not really funny. It's, it's really more of an issue. So I used to use this vanity all the time to sit and do my makeup. And I really liked doing that, but I just kind of I don't know, I just got kind of tired of it. And I ended up moving my makeup into the bathroom, which you'll see later in this video when I am sorting that out and cleaning our bathroom. But what ends up happening is it just collects junk. And it's really not that, it looks, I think it looks really nice in the room because it's something different than just like a boxy dresser. But um, it's not that functional at this point because I never set it, sit at it ever and use it. So I'm not sure whether to, pardon me wants to get rid of it and replace it with another dresser because we could really use that storage space. Both of us share the one dresser in our room and our drawers are very, very full. And so it would be nice to have um, a separate one where I could have a dresser and Riley could have a dresser. So that's one idea. Another thing is I might come back around to wanting to sit down and use the vanity again, in which case I don't want to get rid of it. So I might just keep it. Um, and Riley's been talking about that he would really like to have some bookshelves in our bedroom because we used to have a um, set of bookshelves in our bedroom and we did both like having all of our books in there. So at night we could pull books and devotionals and things like that while we were settling into the evening and kind of pull those and read them. So I don't know. I don't know what we're doing with the vanity um, situation. 
in this frame right now you can see that kind of hunter green hook that's hanging over the edge of the chair that's called a theracane if you have back issues you might be familiar with it it's basically like this little really heavy duty hook where you can kind of massage out knots in your shoulders or back or you know actually pretty much everywhere on your body it works really really well it helps me a lot when i'm having neck and shoulder pain so um, I can link it below. I got it off Amazon. So if that's something you would be interested in checking out, it's about $30. It's worth every penny if you have neck and shoulder or back pain because it gives you the ability to get those knots out on your own. Um, just while you're watching TV or laying it like for me when I'm chilling out in bed at night and watching YouTube videos or reading, I'll just kind of use it to work out my shoulders. So that's that. Anyway, back to cleaning. I am using the Tangelo Palm Frond once again and getting this vanity clean. Moving over to my bedside table. Gosh, it's seven o'clock by the time I was doing this. It didn't feel like it because daylight savings time is amazing and it is bright outside still. You can see the light coming in. Um, well, I can tell because I know my home, but there's still light coming in on this shot um, from the window right to this, this side of this. But anyway, getting my little basket, I keep my Bible and a journal and a little linen spray that I spray on our pillows, like lavender spray and some pens and highlighters and things like that. And now I'm sorting out, this is our dresser. This is the one that I was talking about that we share. Both of our bedside tables and this dresser are all from Ikea and the glass tops are from Ikea as well. So that first thing I just picked up is a essential use essential oil diffuser the second thing is the best sound machine in the world it's not a recording it's an actual fan that makes actual white noise in real time so you cannot find the loop which was a game changer for me it's called the dome i this is my second one the first one lasted me about five years and then i kind of broke it because i was traveling with it without like a case on it or whatever um i love it i will link it below it's from Amazon. The other thing on the far end of our dresser was a humidifier, which is just about time to clean that out and put that away for the season, but we use it all winter long and fall long and it really makes a big difference. Um, that little black thing that I was just touching that was adjusting the light is our, their like touch lamp controls, which is great. When you're laying in bed, you can just lean over and just one finger and tap it and your light will go off, which we both really appreciate and love. Riley bought those for us. Those are also from Amazon. We buy a lot of things from Amazon because we live in a small town and that is the easiest place to get things. Now I'm just sorting out, we have like 30 essential oils on our dresser and usually we have like two or three because we only use them in our bedroom really when we're about to go to bed. So I was just picking out the ones that we actually use before bed. Lavender, Release, those are two of the main ones that we like to use before bed. Also there's one called Surrender that we like, um, so those all went in there. Okay, I just wanted to show you this. This is mounted, this is from Amazon. It's mounted in our laundry room on the wall right above our washing machine. And this is where I put dirty cleaning rags and dish towels because I do not wash those things with our main laundry. So you can see here's the washing machine and then this little basket is above it. So if these rags are still wet, I just drape them over the side of this and they dry really quickly. And then I do a load of them like every, I don't know, three to five days I do a small load in my washing machine which is what this is that I'm folding right now again I don't like washing them with my clothing because they have <laughs> Riley didn't realize I was filming and he just whipped into the scene with hot dogs um, but it, which I'll talk to you about in a second but anyway I don't want to wash things that have been like saturated with cleaning products with my normal clothes so I just wash them separately um, like I said every three to five days sometimes longer but here I am just washing, I mean, just folding all of these. These are, um, you know, dish towels that we use in our kitchen. And then I have a bunch of microfiber cloths. I love using these types of cloths for cleaning and in the kitchen. I love them. We still do use paper towels from time to time, but we use these reusable dishcloths and microfiber cloths and bar, I think they're called bar mops, which I'll pull out here in a second so much more so much more because they're more durable and we have that little basket system so they get washed and they just work out really really well for us and we we both really like using them so i'm just going to finish up folding these these are the little bar mops those are from target the blue microfibers i have like 30 of them they're from grove and then that stack is a, a variety a lot of those are from target so that's that now let's talk about dinner all right, so dinner is ready, and we're gonna do 
eat an easy dinner. We're just having hot dogs with that couscous salad I made earlier. My hot dog trick is you you like can either smother the hot dogs in barbecue sauce or put them on the grill and then brush barbecue sauce on them. But definitely get some barbecue sauce on there. It makes them super extra special. These two don't have barbecue sauce, um, while these do. And they get kind of like the crispy. Yeah, they get to be some crispy boys. <laughs> That's my trick. Here's Blair's um, addition to the meal of couscous salad. Is a Mediterranean. Yep. And um, hot dogs, Mediterranean salad. This looks delicious. Great little kickoff to summer meal. So after dinner, as much as I was ready to lounge on the couch for the evening because it was pretty late at this point, I decided that it would be worth it to clean up our master bathroom. So the only thing that I needed to do in this room was to wipe down our mirror and our vanity. So what I like to do to, to do that is I use just Right now I'm just using like Walmart glass cleaner, Walmart brand Windex um, to do this. I purchased from Grove some of the Method glass cleaner and I have to say that I find it very streaky and I don't like it. So I'm not sure about that. And then I'm using the Method Anti-Back in Citron for the countertops. And so the rest of the bathroom was clean and didn't need much, but the vanity, I don't know if this is the same for you, but between makeup and like toothpaste and everything else i feel like our vanity needs a good scrub like every few days so this had been longer than a few days it was high time so i pulled everything off of it which we store quite a lot on it at this stage of life there used to, there was a time when we stored almost nothing on it but now we store a lot on it and i just gave it all a really good scrub down scrub down the mirror and then here i am putting everything back up and i'll give a slow pan of the vanity so this is my side. You can see I have, I had to slow this footage down so I could explain it all. I have my toothbrush, toothpaste, makeup brushes, that little glass dish is from Ikea and it is, I just keep my jewelry that I wear all the time in there, my hand wash, it's a candle holder that I have my concealer, foundation, and sprays in. Um, and then this is also from Target, this little gold and glass thing. And this is the makeup that I use every day, a little Q-tip holder. And then this is Riley's side with his very simple toothbrush and toothpaste. Hey guys, it is, I'm so bad at pointing on the camera, 10.05 PM. Whew, it has been a day. I did, truly, I didn't get started on this until the afternoon. So, you know. It's not like I started at 7 a.m. and I've been on my feet cleaning until 10 p.m. But it has been a long and productive afternoon. As you saw, I got our kitchen completely sorted and dinner made with the help of Riley grilling when he got home. Literally the best hot dog I've ever had. You have got to try that barbecue sauce trick if you like hot dogs. So good. That was such a good summery meal. I, like I said, I really was wishing that we had watermelon, but we didn't and I didn't feel like running out. But Mm, that would have been so perfect. Watermelon and a little cold pasta salad with a hot dog. Yum. Anyway, we had a great, great dinner. It was nice to take a break. And then afterwards, I did some more laundry. Um, and then you just saw that I cleaned our bathroom. I didn't do a full top to bottom clean of the bathroom because it didn't need it. But I did want to do our countertops. Obviously, I also, during the day, got our bedroom sorted and dusted. I got our den sorted and dusted. Tomorrow, I'd like to do a couple of other things in the house. I'm not sure that I'll film it, but some more laundry. I'd like to get our guest bedroom fluffed up because we have a guest coming this week, and I'd like to do the front room as well. So that's that. Thanks so much for following along today as I've done a little bit of some spring cleaning and a little bit of cooking. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. As I've probably mentioned in the voiceover, I will link in the description box below the different products that I mentioned and used today. So if you're interested and you wanna go check those out, you can almost, I think everything except for the Angry Mama and that Walmart brand Windex um, are from Grove. So that makes it pretty easy if you're interested, but you can get a lot of those same things at other places as well if you are not a Grove member or if you don't wanna become one. So that's the story. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Happy spring cleaning.